Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome male athletes and the 68 kilogram weight category. The blue corner, Alexei Denisenko from Russian Federation. The red corner, Joe Acha from Belgium. Denisenko from Russia in blue, Jared Achab from Belgium in red. Denisenko, Olympic silver medalist from from Rio 2016. Jared Achab, world champion in the lighty category in Chalabinsk, Russia. These two face each other many times before. First point. Going to Achab. In the Grand Prix series in 2014-2015, you saw Denisenko have some tremendous matches with Turkish athlete Servet Tazagul. So we've seen some good performances. Referee Choi from Korea chooses to let the athletes play. You can see the shin guards open. Strong check by Achab. Maxi Denisenko just moving forward to the combination, kicks off the front leg, goes up for the headshot. Just a one point difference at this stage. Nice triple kick, followed, him, followed through by another attempt. He was well off mark, but it was good to see that activity by Alexi Denisenko of Russia. Oh, oh jump in reverse there. Nice effort. Didn't impact, didn't score, but it's good to see those sort of techniques at this sort of level. Denisenko showing with true potential there. So, Jawud Achab is a point ahead himself, employing combination kicks. That's that nice double and jumping reverse by Alexei Denisenko. So, Jawud Achab, one point ahead. Incredible speed, but he's given away. Quite a bit of weight and height here to Denisenko. Denisenko choosing not to sit down. Referee Cherry from Korea calls him into action again for the second round. Athletes using every last second, waiting to fasten those head guards. Nice touch gloves there, and the second round's underway. Denisenko starts to take it to Joe Rachab. He's responding, both very much off the front leg for now. And Rachab comes off the back. 
well defended by the Russian. Achav goes high, throws a punch in to follow through. Referee separates them. Jared Achav seems more aggressive. Alexei Denisenko looking more for the counter kicks and those opportunities to steal a point. Low scoring match, but plenty of activity. Winner of this match will go on to face Lee Dae Hoon from Korea in the final of the minus 68 kilogram Grand Prix final. Achab just acknowledging that he might have kicked low there, but no response from Denisenko. Denisenko looking very, very composed. Big punch again by Achab. A big shout for a punch anyway. Kick attempt by Denisenko. He's carrying this motion on now in this exchange of kicks. Achao keeps trying that right punch. Needs to be very, very clear to score, especially if he's using the right hand because the there's just the one corner judge at the back there is the centre you can just see. And like I said previously, two out of the three judges need to score more or less simultaneously for the point to register. But Achab gets another kick coming in. Did a double, like a scissor kick motion. Just stole that point away. So a good point there at the end of that second round for Jawad Achab, now leading by two points to nil. Denisenko still standing up and looking very relaxed. His demeanor has not changed at all during the course of this match. Achab definitely working hard with the two athletes. There have not been many points scored, but when there have been scored, it's been with really well timed, accurate techniques. Achab's just got to hold on now. Try and keep picking off the Russian up and put the ball to the opponent. Third round. In our last semi-final of this evening's session. Alexei Denisenko from Russia in blue. Jared Achab from Belgium. In red, Achab with a two-point lead. We just saw the Russian team there, many of whom will be competing in the World Team Championships, which start on Monday. Denisenko has not changed his style of play at all. The two points not phased him in any way. Achab being very aggressive, coming off the back leg, and gets another point. This is great play by Jawad Achab against the slightly bigger Russian. Denisenko still calm, but realistically now he should be doing something a little bit more, possibly. As we're getting towards the last minute, we might see him step up a little bit. Twisting kick by Jared Achab. Four points now. Denisenko really needs to start thinking. I've got to get on this scoreboard. Really skillful twisting kick. Denisenko tries to punch now for the first time. It looks like he needs to step up a bit, but it's not all for nothing as yet. A little bit of a shin block there. Denisenko in pain about that. Referee gives him a warning for shin blocking. That is a foul. 
so they've been discomfort with that symbol. Atab gives a big punch. 30 seconds left, Denisenko. Four points behind, gets his first point on the board. No, it's Achab that takes that one. It's Achab's clearly. Now Denisenko does a double, gets his point on, tries a back kick. Looks to see what the score is because at that point anybody could have been scoring. And Jared Achab is five points to one a lead of Alexander, Alexei Denisenko. Denisenko knows he needs to be doing something more. He stepped up, not convincingly attacking as yet, trying to get in the range. Achab's moving off, kicking on his way out. Triple kick by Denisenko. Is it too little, too late? Warning for Achab. Second one. Three points difference, five seconds on the ball. Denisenko needs a head chop. Achab goes down. Gamjun, full point deduction. Not surprised, that is a good call by the referee because that's deliberately avoiding the match. Two points of difference, three seconds. Again, avoiding the match, he'll get another one. He'll get another warning. It won't make a difference though. Achab is held on, goes down, but he holds on to it. 5-3 to Jared Achab over Alexei Denisenko. Video review appeal being played by the coach. Denisenko's coach is playing for an appeal. Realistically, it's an act of desperation and frustration. Achab definitely played negatively, tactically to avoid being scored against at the end of that round. The referee really doesn't know what is the point of the appeal. But you can't blame the Russian coach for trying this. Because even if he was to get a gamjun for falling down again, it wouldn't change the score. Or it wouldn't impact on the, the results, should I say. That's a twisting kick off the front leg by Achab. the discomfort on Denisenko's face from that shin block. Go see the referee director, Mr. Shakir Shalbat. Just advising the video review judge that this needs to be decided very quickly. There's not really grounds for pr protest here, but even so, process has to go be gone through the last exchange and Joe clearly in the outside of the contest area, but it would only be a Kyungo. It's upheld, the appeal's been upheld. And the Gamjung is given rather than the Kyungo. The Russian coach is still not happy. So ta that still takes the score to 5-4 to Achab, so he's still declared winner. Like we said, it didn't change the outcome of the match. But there was uh, a protest for the Congo, the Gamjun rather than the Congo, but it didn't change the result. And Jared Achab still deserving winner of that semi-final. And he will face Lee Dehoud later on in this evening's session.